second video of our Canva crash course. We'll have an overview of Canva and how it works. Firstly, you need to visit canva.com and sign up as a first time user, either using your laptop or your phone. But if you don't have a laptop, don't bother. You can still run your designs with your phone. Simply visit Play Store and download the Canva mobile app. So on signing, you can begin your journey of creating your desired design. So right now, I'm on my Canva page. So it's time for us to sort our hands. Okay, the top right part of the bar, you have a Create Design button. So from this button, you can actually begin your design. So on clicking on the button, you can choose to do a uh, impute custom dimensions for your designs. If as me, you know the sizes or you have searched online for the sizes of what you want to design, you can simply come here and choose on these custom dimensions. Or you can select from predefined sizes here for the size of uh, presentation, poster, logo, video, flyers. You can decide to choose on any of them. Okay, this same thing we have here is still what we have down here, the create design, where we have already made the uh, design sizes for presentations, for poster, for logo. Okay, let's say that we want to run a presentation slide, say for our business or for anything. So I can decide to use uh, an already uh, defined size, I say presentation. Okay, so we don't see that it gives me this size defined already. It gives me this size, but it's so bare. Meaning that I will start my design from scratch. I will start here to bring up the element and everything I want to add to my design. Okay? And that be the case. So what some, uh, Canva gives us uh, leverage to is power to templates. You can decide to choose from already made templates. Work with them. Okay, just like we create here, we created uh, the custom size for a presentation, and here again, I want to use an already existing uh, presentation template to work with my uh, design. So say I'm choosing this one. Let's see how it plays out here. So this will now open this template with the whole design elements in it. You see that this template is already made. So what I have to do as the designer is to change the content of this element. Okay, if um, I'm going actually for a course on design thinking, I can come back here and change this to design thinking. Okay, sorry for typo. Change to design thinking. I can do some adjustments. Can drag it down to this point, anything. I can decide to reduce this one so it fits well. You see? So I'm on my way or journey to customizing this template for myself. I can decide to change the color of this guy here so I brand it my own. See, I don't want that color so it doesn't look generic. Oh, this is so shouty. Okay? So it doesn't look generic. You understand how it works? Right now, I'm working with the template. So when you're work, work, working with the template, you don't more need to start your design from scratch, but you edit pre-existing designs. So the template varies. Like here, you can even choose for animated social media, Facebook, and you can see lots more of template that already exists. So you see that these are template that already exist. You just pick them up and start your design. Or, like I said initially, you can do your custom design. The normal size for your social media or uh, creatives is 1080. That is 1080 pixels. It fits well to both your Facebook post and your Instagram post. So I'm doing 1080, 1080. And I'm choosing the size here. We have pixels, inch, millimeter, and centimeter. Preferably, you will use pixels since we are working for screen designs. And I say create designs. So it gives me a bare uh, Canva page where I can now start trying out my designs from scratch. Thank you. In our next lesson, we'll explore the Canva navigation bar. Thank you.